Hi everyone, welcome back to FMG 2023 Jan Pharmacology MCQ Recall. Myself Padmanabha TS. So let us move on to what are all the questions that they have asked in your FMG 2023 Jan exam and let us find out the right answers. So coming to the first question, so they have asked regarding IVRA agent of choice. So which of the following is most commonly used for intravenous regional anesthesia so the question was regarding the most commonly used drug for intravenous regional anesthesia so so most commonly used drug is the prilocaine prilocaine and alternative is the alternative is the Lignocaine. So let us see which are all the options for this question. So we have bupivacaine, levobupivacaine, lignocaine and rupivacaine. So since prilocaine is not there in the option, so I need to go for the alternative drug that is lignocaine. So here the answer will be your lignocaine. So the most commonly used intravenous regional anesthesia is lignocaine here. So next coming to the second question. So which of the following antibiotic will be given in first two months of TB therapy or some of them said that the question was asked like this. So patient with history of cough for two months and which of the following antibiotic will be used in first two months of therapy. So please remember. So in the first two months of therapy, you will be using the HRZE. So H stands for isony acid. Isoniacid, Isoniacid, R stands for Rifampicin, Rifampicin and Z stands for Pyrazinamide, Pyrazinamide and the E stands for your Ethanbutol, Ethanbutol. So all of these are side, sidal in nature, sidal. So Isoniacid is sidal in nature, Rifampicin is sidal in nature. Pyrazinamide is sidal in nature, but ethambutol is static in nature, static in nature. So here the answer will be, answer will be here, ethambutol. Ethambutol is the answer here. So septomycin was the first IV drug, IV drug, which was used in the treatment of tuberculosis. Is that clear? Okay, fine. So next moving on to the third question that is, a patient had a pain related to gout so since the patient will be having a, a increased uric acid accumulation in case of the gout it will lead to crystal formation which has led to the pain and later it was subsided and what will be given for excretion of the uric acid so what are the drugs which can be given for excretion of the uric acid so allopurinol and fibroxostat are the xanthine oxidase inhibitor they are the xanthine they are the They are the xanthine oxidase inhibitors. They are the xanthine oxidase inhibitors. They are usually used in the treatment of chronic gout. They are usually used in the treatment of chronic gout. Chronic gout. So whereas colchicine is mainly used for the treatment of the acute gout. Acute gout. The proban acid is the uricosuric agent. Urico suric agent so it increases the excretion of the uric acid so here the answer will be since they have asked about what will be the given drug that will increase the excretion of the uric acid so your answer will be it is your proban acid it is your proban acid apart from proban acid you you also have got other uricosuric agents like benzbromerone benzbromerone etc so these are the xanthine oxidase inhibitors. So we have a allopurinol and fibroxostat. Basically they are used for the treatment of chronic gout. Please remember it is used for the chronic gout. 
सो एलोपेरिनॉल इज ए ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस ऑलोपेरिनॉल इज ए ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इन केस ऑफ क्रॉनिक गाउट सो यूरिकोस्यूरिक ड्रग्स और द प्रोबन एसिड बेन्सब्रोमर एंड सल्फिन पायरेजोन सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट द गाउट सो गाउट ट्रीटमेंट कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन टू द अक्यूट गाउट एंड द क्रॉनिक गाउट इन केस ऑफ अक्यूट गाउट द सिम्टोमेटिक ट्रीटमेंट इज गिवन टू रिलीव द पेन to relieve the pain so we use a uh, non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs steroids and the colchicin whereas in case of the chronic gout we use xanthine oxidase inhibitors like the allopurinol fibroxostat and we can increase the uric acid excretion by using uricosuric agent and third group is the by increasing the uric acid metabolism like rasburicase etc ras buricase etc so moving on to the fourth question that is a female patient presented with pain redness in the great toe and serum uric acid levels were 9.6 mg per dl which is raised apart from prescribing the analgesic for relieving the pain the the physician prescribed a drug which can describe the which can decrease the formation of the uric acid so which of the following enzyme is likely to be inhibited by the following drug so they are asking which of the following drug was prescribed to decrease the formation of uric acid so please remember to decrease the formation of uric acid you use the allopurinol allo purinol so allopurinol is a xanthine oxidase inhibitor xanthine oxidase inhibitor which decreases the formation of the uric acid so here the answer will be the physician has prescribed the allopurinol which inhibit the xanthine oxidase inhibitor thereby it decreases the uric acid formation uric acid formation is that clear fine so next question coming to the fifth question that is which of the following correctly describes the dales vasomotor reversal phenomena so what happens in case of the dales vasomotor reversal phenomena is when we take the systolic blood pressure graph and the diastolic blood pressure graph so this is the mean blood pressure so if you give a if you give a epinephrine epinephrine what will happen so there will be rise and fall in blood pressure so this rise is mainly due to the alpha 1 stimulation and this fall in blood pressure is due to the beta 2 stimulation beta 2 receptor stimulation so this leads to increase in the blood pressure mainly increase in the systolic blood pressure and this beta 2 stimulation will lead to decrease in the blood pressure decrease in the diastolic blood pressure so at lower concentration beta 2 receptors will be more active that's why you're going to see this phenomenon is also called as biphasic phenomenon biphasic phenomenon biphasic phenomenon so what happens when dales vasomotor phenomenon so if you give a here the alpha blocker alpha blocker so what will happen if you give a uh, epinephrine again so you're not going to see the only you'll see the exaggerated fall in the blood pressure only the beta 2 receptors will be sensitive and thereby there will be decrease in the diastolic blood pressure and you'll go, you'll you'll not see you'll not see the rise in systolic blood pressure since the alpha receptors are blocked alpha receptors are blocked so this is the uh, 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 what this this is what happens in case of the dales vasomotor reversal phenomenon so let us see the options so they are asking about the correct uh, description of the dales vasomotor reversal phenomenon so the option a is repeated administration of ephedrine decreases its effects so what happens in case of ephedrine so if you are gone giving the ephedrine so the responses will decrease responses will decrease so this is called as the tachyphylaxis this is called as the tachyphylaxis so ephedrine ephedrine when given continuously it will going to cause a decrease in the response this is called as the tachyphylaxis <coughs> tachyphylaxis is that clear okay so option a is ruled out <coughs> excuse me sorry option a is ruled out <coughs> excuse me option a is ruled out
एंड बी हाई डोज ऑफ अस्टेलकोलिन आफ्टर प्री ट्रीटमेंट विथ एट्रोपिन प्रोड्यूस इंक्रीज इन द ब्लड प्रेजर एंड हार्ट रेट सो इट विल प्रोड्यूस ये ड्यू टू द निकोटेनिक निकोटेनिक रिसेप्टर एक्टिवेशन इट विल गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस द राइज इन ब्लड प्रेजर बट दिस इज नॉट अ वैसो मोटर रिवर्सल फिनोमिन सो इंक्रीज इन पल्स प्रेजर इज प्रोड्यूस बाई इंट्राविनस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द हाइसोप्रेनाल सिंस इट एक्ट्स ऑन द बीटा वन रिसेप्टर इट विल इंक्रीज द हार्ट रेट सो दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फॉर डेल्स वैसो मोटर रिवर्सल फिनोमिन सो नेक्स्ट इज द ए पेशेंट प्री ट्रीटेड विथ फेंटोलमिन सो दिस फेंटोलमिन इज ए एल्फा ब्लॉकर एल्फा ब्लॉकर एंड डेवलप्स ए सीवियर हाइपोटेंशन ऑन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द अड्रेनालिन सी यूर यू हैव गिवन ए एल्फा ब्लॉकर एंड यू गिव ए एफिन एफरिन हियर सो यू आर सींग द फॉल इन द ब्लड प्रेजर फॉल इन द ब्लड प्रेजर सो यू आर द प्री ट्रीटमेंट विद द फेंटोलमिन फेंटोलमिन इज ए एल्फा ब्लॉकर सो दिस इज द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द डेल्स वैसो मोटर रिवर्सल फिनोमिन सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग करेक्टली डिस्क्राइब द डेल्स वैसो मोटर रिवर्सल फिनोमिन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए पेशेंट प्री ट्रीटेड विथ द फेंटोलमिन डेवलप सीवियर हाइपोटेंशन ऑन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द अड्रेनालिन सो दिस इज द राइट ऑप्शन सो कमिंग टू द Sixth question. So some of them were telling that the oxytocin was asked. Oxytocin contraindication. So oxytocin is mainly used for the induction purpose, induction of the labor, induction of the abortion, etc. In case of uterine inertia. So they are totally contraindicated if there is any heart disease. In case of the heart disease, you need to avoid the use of the oxytocin. so what are the contraindications the least of contraindications for use of oxytocin is if the cardiac condition please avoid it in case of grand multi para if there is a scar due to hysterectomy if there is a obstructed labor if there is a fetal distress which is uh, existing and if there is a scar due to the uterine rupture all these are the contraindications for the use of the oxytocin so next coming to the which of the following diuretic acts on the site so this is the site they are asking so usually which is the drug which acts at this site so this is the distal convoluted tubule so this is the distal convoluted tubule so this is the distal convoluted tubule so which is the drug which is acting here so it is your thiazide group of drugs it is your thiazide group of drugs which acts on the distal convoluted tubule the basically inhibit the sodium chloride channels sodium chloride channels so which is the thiazide example here in the option so you have a hydrochlorothiazide hydrochlorothiazide is the thiazide thiazide which acts at the distal convoluted tubule and they inhibit the sodium chloride channels if they had asked about this site this one so answer would have been the loop diuretics loop diuretics please remember loop diuretics so furosemide usually it is a loop diuretic it will going to act on the ascending loop of enli and it will going to inhibit the sodium potassium to chloride sympot so basically it will going to inhibit the sodium potassium to chloride sympot so what about the astrazolamide astrazolamide usually acts at the this is the site where astrazolamide will act so astrazolamide will act at the proximal convoluted tubule they will going to inhibit the carbonic anhydrase enzyme activity so what about the spironolactone spironolactone will act on the distal uh, collecting duct collecting duct where they are the aldosterone antagonist aldosterone antagonist aldosterone antagonist is that clear okay fine so next coming to the eighth question which of the following drug is used to decrease the progression of pulmonary fibrosis and increases the exercise capacity of the person exercise capacity of the person so here the answer is busel buselfen will will going to cause pulmonary fibrosis pulmonary fibrosis so you cannot use this the here the answer is the perfinodon or the nantidanib these are the anti anti fibrotic drugs anti fibrotic drugs is that clear okay fine so basically the roflimiplast is used in the copd treatment busulfan is used in the treatment of 
क्रॉनिक माइलॉइड ल्यूकेमियाज एंड बॉटिजुमिब इज यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ मल्टीपल माइलोमा वेर एस नेंटीडैनिब एंड द परफिनेडॉन इज यूज इन द ईडियोपैथिक पलमनरी फाइब्रोसिस दे एक्ट एस ए एंटी फाइब्रोटिक एजेंट एंटी फाइब्रोटिक एजेंट so coming to the drugs which are causing pulmonary fibrosis you should remember so please remember uh, bleomycin can lead to pulmonary fibrosis busulfan bromocriptin gold amiodarone methotrexate and the cyclophosphamide can lead to lung fibrosis pulmonary fibrosis how to remember this in your exam so please remember pulmonary lung fibrosis mein this is pulmonary fibrosis p for p you can remember p for p that is perfenidone perfenidone next coming to the ninth question that is identify the type of inhibition from the given graph so this graph shows that so this is the vmax this is the vmax and this will tell about the km so what is happening to km km is same km is same and whereas vmax is vmax is decreased vmax is decreased so this happens in case of non competitive type of enzyme inhibition non competitive type of enzyme inhibition please remember non competitive type of enzyme inhibition so here is a graph which you can differentiate between the competitive inhibition and the uncompetitive inhibition and the non competitive type of inhibition so in non competitive the km is same it is not affected but the vm is reduced vm is reduced whereas in case of non competitive see here the both the km and the both the km and the vmax is reduced in case of uncompetitive inhibition whereas in case of the competitive inhibition as you can see here is the there is increase in the km what happens to the vmax vmax remains unaffected so km is increased and vmax is unaffected then the graph will be the example for the competitive inhibition competitive inhibition so here the example for uh, the type of inhibition for this graph is the non competitive type of inhibition so coming to the 10th question that is which of the following drug decreases the cardiac re remodeling and increase the longevity in chronic chf so please remember the drugs which are decreasing the cardiac remodeling capacity are the ace inhibitors we have arbs we have aldosterone receptor antagonists like spironolactone spironolactone and we have a uh, arni that is angiotensin receptor blocker and naprilsin inhibitor that is sacubitril sacubitril and uh, apart from that you also have got beta blockers you have got hydralazine hydralazine and isosorbide isosorbide dinitrate isosorbide dinitrate so here the option will be the metoprolol metoprolol is a beta blocker metoprolol is a beta blocker which decreases the cardiac remodeling and increase the longevity so the the drugs that decreases the cardiac remodeling and increase longevity in case of chronic chf is the ac inhibitors angiotensin receptor blockers aldosterone receptor antagonism antagonist and uh, angiotensin receptor blocker and naprilsin inhibitor that is sacubitril combination and we have a beta blocker in addition to that you should also remember the drugs like hydralazine hydralazine and the and the isosorbide isosorbide dinitrate isosorbide dinitrate next we have a 11th question which of the following statement is correct regarding the mechanism of action of labetalol so labetalol please remember labetalol is a third generation beta blocker third generation beta blocker which has got both the alpha as well as beta blocking in addition to alpha blocking it also block the alpha activity so which of the following is the correct uh, answer so beta block it has got beta blocking activity as well as the alpha blocking activity 
so image which is shown that is image based on renin inhibitor was asked so if they are asked about renin so you can remember this step so angiotensinogen will be converted into angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2 with the help of angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 is with the help of the renin and angiotensin 1 to 2 is with the help of the ACE enzyme and we have there will be release of the the act on the angiotensin 1 receptor as well as they release the aldosterone aldosterone so this will going to act on the blood vessel to cause increased in the blood pressure why there is increase the blood pressure due to the vasoconstriction vasoconstriction so again this aldosterone will retain the sodium sodium and uh, water and this will increase the this will lead to vasoconstriction leading to increase in the blood pressure so if they had asked about this site this site then the answer will be direct renin inhibitor will be aliskarin aliskarin if they asked about this site ace inhibitor inhibiting this then the answer will be all prills all prills that is the ace inhibitors ace inhibitors end with prill prill and if they asked about this site then it would have been the ARBs ARBs and if they asked about the release of renin from the JJ cells in the nephrons then it would be beta blockers to inhibit the release of renin from the JJ cells then the answer would have been the beta blocker since they have asked about the renin inhibitors then the answer will be the aliskarin here aliskarin here so coming to the 13th MCQ that is the 68 year old male cancer patient on chemotherapy developed neutropenia which of the following drug is used to increase the immunity in this patient they are asking so which is the drug which is given to overcome the neutropenia again it is a direct answer so you will going to give a granulocyte colony stimulating factor so the granulocyte colony stimulating factor will be your filgrastim 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 so filgrastim will be your answer opravacin is an interleukin 11 analog darbopoietin will increase the erythro erythropoiesis erythropoiesis romeplastin is mainly used to increase the platelet in case of the thrombocytopenia etc so please remember filgrastim is used to stimulate the growth of wbc growth factor that is a granulocyte colony stimulating factor and opralvikin is an interleukin 11 analog and darbopoietin will increase the erythropoietin levels and romiplastim will increase the platelet so there was a question regarding dicumeral mechanism action so what is the other name for dicumeral dicumeral is nothing but the warfarin warfarin which is a orally available anticoagulant oral anticoagulant so the mechanism of action will be <coughs> mechanism of action will be it competitively inhibit the vitamin k dependent clotting factors vitamin k dependent clotting factors so this would have this is the right answer here if they asked about the mechanism of action so you can uh, select the competitive inhibitors of vitamin k dependent clotting factor 2 7 9 10 So then 15th question was post COVID patient developing tingling sensation during the COVID-19 the patient uh, or a person took excess of vitamin what is the cause for tingling sensation again a direct answer here it is mainly due to the tingling sensation is mainly due to the vitamin vitamin D excess that is hypervitaminosis hypervitaminosis is the answer here. So coming to the 16th question that is regarding the potency efficacy comparison. So which of the following statement about the drug is false. So this will give the dose this axis x axis and the y axis will give the response response. So dose will tells you about the potency and response will tell you about the efficacy efficacy. The height will tell you about the efficacy and the distance which is moving from the center towards tells about the potency and as the distance increases from the central point the potency will going to decrease as the height increases the efficacy will increase so this is the uh, uh, drug a b c and d so let us uh, see the options so the drug c is less potent than drug b so drug c is less potent than 
drug C is less potent than drug B. Yes, drug C is less potent than drug B. This is the right answer. This is the correct thing. So they are asking the false one. So drug B is more efficacious than the drug D. Yes, drug B is more efficacious than drug D. So height is more for drug B compared to drug D. So drug D is least potent. Drug D is least potent. Yes, it is the least potent one. It is the least potent one. Yes, drug A is more efficacious. So drug A cannot be more efficacious. Drug B and C is more efficacious than drug B. So this is the false statement. So this is the false statement and this will be your option here. So coming to the 17th question, the antidote for iron toxicity in case of pediatric patient who has consumed the iron tablet. So here the direct answer question, uh, the answer is the desferoxamine which is given inject through the injection. Desferoxamine is a antidote of choice in case of iron toxicity. NSTL cysteine is a drug of choice in case of paracetamol poisoning. Paracetamol poisoning and fomipizole is uh, mainly used in case of methanol poisoning, methanol poisoning, ethylene glycol poisoning, ethylene glycol poisoning and flumazanil is mainly used for benzodiazepine overdose, benzodiazepine overdose. Whereas the uh, other drugs which can be given in case of the iron toxicity or which can be given in the form <coughs> of oral route is deferiprone and deferacerox. So deferiprone and deferacerox. So these are given through oral route, but whereas the desferoxamine is given through injectable route. So which of the following drug activates the paroxysmal proliferator activated receptor alpha? So again, these are the drugs which will going to act as a decreasing the cholesterol agent. That is the fibrates. Your fibrates will act by activating the PPAR alpha. So here the example for uh, the fibrates is the gem fibrosil, gem fibrosil, gem fibrosil. Is that clear? So please remember gem fibrosil belongs to fibrates. We have fi under fibrates, we have phenofibrates, fibrates, and uh, the uh, gem fibrosil. Here the right option is the gem fibrosil. Simvastatin is a HMG CoA reductase inhibitor. HMG CoA reductase inhibitor. Reductase inhibitor. Whereas al Aliro Kumab is the PCS K9 inhibitor. It also used to reduce the cholesterol levels. Cholesterol levels. Then we have a cholesterol. Cholesterol is a bile acid binding resins. But here the correct answer is gem fibrosil fibrates, which will going to activate the PPR alpha. So next coming to the 22nd question that is the best treatment of acromegaly with a history of acromegaly. So you can use stomatostatin, terlipresin terli as ruled out is mainly used in case of the esophageal, esophageal varices. Again octreted IV is used for the esophageal, esophageal varices. But what they say in case of acromegaly, you can use uh, the uh, dopamine agonist like cabergolin. You can use bromocryptin. You can use growth hormone receptor antagonist that is pegvisomant. And also you can use the somatostatin analogs analogs like the octreotide octreotide and landreotide etc this is longer acting longer acting and again this landreotide is the slow release one slow release preparations so here the best option could be uh, the landreotide depot because it releases the drug uh, slowly and for a continuous period of time for a longer duration compared to other group of drugs. So the the appropriate and best possible correct answer for this question would be the landreotide. So we have a cabergolin, bromocryptin, somatostatin analogs like octreotide, landreotide and pegvisomant which is a growth hormone receptor antagonist antagonist these are all used in the treatment of acromegaly acromegaly 
So coming to the 23rd MCQ that is uh, that was asked. So a patient of a colorectal cancer was treated with folinic acid and 5-fluorouracil irinotecan therapy. He developed the diarrhea following the regimen. So which of the following drug can be used for treatment of chemotherapy related diarrheas? So please remember for chemotherapy related diarrheas it is a non-infective diarrheas. It is a non-infective diarrheas non-infective diarrheas in non-infective diarrheas the ideal drug would be the opiate group of drugs that is the loperamide loperamide so ciprofloxin metronidazole they are mainly used for infective type of diarrheas infective type of diarrheas and uh, these uh, since loperamide has got less less abuse potential you need not give a atropine so here the option will be the right op correct answer will be the loperamide so next coming to the 24th uh, MCQ that is uh, a patient plan to receive a, a, a chemotherapy with cisplatin which of the following drugs are used for the treatment of the chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting they are asking about the chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting so here the best option will be doxalamine is used in case of pregnancy to treat uh, the morning sickness morning sickness so here uh, the better option will be your the uh, uh, 5-HT3 5-HT3 antagonist so let us see which are the 5-HT3 antagonist option is there so we have granisetron here granisetron again uh, please remember in case of chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting so we'll be using better to use a corticosteroids and the apripitant so the right option will be granisetron dexamethasone and the apripitant so coming to the 25th question that was asked a patient complains of ptosis increasing muscle weakness by evening and this weakness was relieved by neostigmine so what is the likely diagnosis so here the likely diagnosis the muscle is improved after giving a neostigmine which is anticholinesterase the direct uh, uh, answer you can choose here it is the case of the myasthenia grievis next coming to the 26th question they asked regarding the therapeutic index formula so please remember if they ask anything about the therapeutic index formula you need to remember the tile that is therapeutic index is nothing but the lethal dose in 50 percent divided by effective dose in 50 percent it is a dose which is required to kill the 50 percent of the 50% of the population it is a dose which is required to be effective in the 50% of the population so it is LD 50 by AD 50 so it is a measure of safety it is a measure of safety it is a measure of safety so if they have asked about the statement uh, like true statement so that right statement would have been the dose that produces lethality in 50% uh, by efficacy in 50% so this will be the right answer this will be the right answer lethal dose by the effective dose the toxic dose will be in case of the animal studies in case of the animal studies you can use this in case of human it is ld50 by the uh, by the effective dose so coming to the uh, next question that is a given figure shows the effect of drug on blood pressure and heart rate so drug is most likely to be whether it is epinephrine nor epinephrine or the isoprenaline or the or the dopamine so regarding the blood pressure if you see these type of graphs so and sorry So usually what happens uh, to the uh, blood pressure when you give epinephrine. So when you give epinephrine there is a biphasic phenomenon. There is a biphasic phenomenon. So there is an increase in the systolic blood pressure. There is a decrease in the diastolic blood pressure. And what happens to the heart rate? Since epinephrine will also act on the beta 1 there will be increased. So what will happen is there will be increase in the systolic blood pressure there will be decrease in the diastol diastolic blood pressure and there will be increase in the heart rate so what happens when you give a drug with norepinephrine 
so there will be increase in both the systolic blood pressure there will be increase in the diastolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure and also please remember since there is a no beta activity there will be reflex bradycardia there will be reflex bradycardia there will be decrease in the heart rate so they say that this was a graph which was given so there was an increase in the systolic blood pressure there is an increase in the diastolic blood pressure there was increase in the mean blood pressure and also there is a decrease in the heart rate there is a decrease in the heart rate then the option is the correct option will be the norepinephrine so sorry this is norepinephrine nor epinephrine so what about isoprenaline isoprenaline again it will going to increase the heart rate increase the heart rate dopamine again it acts on beta 1 receptor and again it will increase the heart rate so only drug here which can decrease the heart rate will be your nor epinephrine so coming to the 28 mcq that is inhalation induction of choice in case of pediatrics so inhalational anesthetic agent for induction in case of pediatric is sevoflurin sevoflurin is a induction agent of choice in case of the pediatrics please remember so 29th mcq was a 22 year old female with bipolar disorder was on lithium therapy which of the following statement would uh, about the therapy is not correct they have asked about the not correct so lithium decreases the thyroid function thyroid function this is the correct actually lithium will decrease the thyroid function lithium toxicity is enhanced by thiazide since thiazide decreases the lithium excretion yes this is the right statement and hemodialysis is not useful in lithium overdose so this is the wrong statement so option c will be your the right answer lithium is avoided in pregnancy due to thyroid this is the correct statement so which statement is not correct that is the hemodialysis hemodialysis is a load in case of the lithium so hemodialysis is not useful in case of the lithium overdose will be the correct answer for this question next coming to the 30th mcq that is a patient suffering from the uh, depression has to be started on antidepressant drug which of the following is likely less likely to cause a sexual related side effect less likely to cause so usually this venlafaxine snri this ssri and the tricyclic antidepressant and this will this uh, is a inhibitor uh, reuptake this inhibit the reuptake of noradrenaline and 5ht as well as dopamine so these drugs will have a will have a sexual related side effects and this will be relatively less with the vipri bupropion so here the uh, the best option will be the bupropion so coming to 31st mcq uh, some of them said that lithium mechanism was asked so lithium basically they are used in the bipolar disorders bipolar disorders it mainly reduces the glutamate activity that is the excitatory ones they increase the gaba activity which are inhibitory neurotransmitters and they are all gq coupled mediated action and also it, they decrease the dopamine so if they asked about anything related drug if you would have chosen these uh, options for the lithium mechanism action then you could have got the right answer next coming to the 30s second mcq that is which among the following is most suitable for iv local anesthetics so please remember most suitable for iv local anesthetic will be your lignocen 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 and bupivacaine has got the cardio toxicity cardio toxicity cardio toxicity levobucaine is a congener of the bupivacaine which is less cardio toxic less cardio toxic less cardio toxicity so lignocaine can also be used in the treatment of ventricular arrhythmias ventricular arrhythmias coming to the 33rd mcq that is bladder carcinoma involving the muscle bladder muscle what will be the treatment so here the best option will be the intravesical bcg intravesical bcg is all is used for the treatment of bladder carcinoma so mitotan is used for medical adrenalectomy medical adrenalectomy or in case of inoperable 
in operable cases of adrenal adrenal cancers adrenal cancers so the right answer will be your bcg so please remember bcg is useful in case of uh, as a intravesical therapy for superficial bladder cancers and mito Mycin is an alkylating agent. This can also be used intravesically to treat the superficial bladder cancers. And the bladder cancer treatment of choice will be your gemcitabin and cisplatin. Gemcitabin and the cisplatin. Whereas mitotan is indicated mainly for a palliation of inoperable adrenocortical carcinoma. That is the adrenal tumors. So basically mitotan is a drug of choice for medical adrenalectomy. Medical adrenalectomy. So coming to the 34th MCQ, some of them said that uh, 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 the question was asked uh, regarding related to the minimum alveolar concentration. So please remember minimum alveolar concentration is related with the inhalational agents, inhalational anesthetic agent. So minimum alveolar concentration, uh, how it is defined, it is the minimum concentration of inhalational agent that is required in the alveoli to produce the unresponsiveness to produce the unresponsiveness to the skin stimuli in 50% of the patient so it is a minimum alveolar inhalational agent that is required that has to be present in the alveoli to produce the unresponsiveness to produce the unresponsiveness in 50% of the patient following the skin incision following the skin incision so basically it is the measure of the potency please remember it is basically it is the measure of the potency so mac is inversely related to the potency potency so greater the mac lesser the potency and greater the mac lesser the potency and if lesser the mac greater the potency is that clear so till now we have discussed uh, 34 mcqs which were asked in your uh, uh, jan uh, FMG examination just uh, let us again recapitulate it from the beginning so here for this the I IVRA agent of choice is Priloquine the alternative will be Lignocaine the answer will be the Lignocaine here so here which is the antibiotic uh, which is given in the first two months of TB therapy it is your Ethambutal you need to remember HRZD HRZD Ethambutal is the correct answer so for increasing the excretion of uric acid you will give a uricosuric agent like proban acid proban acid and next you have a drug which will inhibit the decrease the formation of the uric acid so that is the allopurinol which inhibit the xanthine oxidase enzymes so next is the correct statement regarding Dale's vasomotor reversal phenomenon. It is the option D that is a patient pretreated with the alpha blocker that is phentolamine develops a severe hypotension following administration of the adrenaline. So oxytocin is contraindicated in all the art related conditions. Art related condition they are contraindicated. So which of the following diuretic acts at this site? This is the thiazide. Thiazide diuretic will act at this site and which will uh, uh, be the drug which will decrease the pulmonary fibrosis p for p that is the perfenodon perfenodon and we have a uh, identify the graph which has got this type of inhibition this is a non competitive type of inhibition where km remains same and vmax will decrease and this is the different uh, enzyme inhibition one is the competitive uncompetitive and the non competitive and which of the following drug will reduce the cardiac remodeling increase longevity that is your propranolol here the option is propranolol is correct and which of the following uh, statement is correct regarding labetalol labetalol is third generation beta blocker which blocks both alpha as well as the beta receptors so image shown uh, in this is the this site this site where it will going to directly inhibit the renin that is the aliskarin so in case of treating chemotherapy Induce neutropenia. You're going to use colony stimulating factors like filgrastim, filgrastim. And dicumerol mechanism of action, that is warfarin mechanism of action, that is competitive inhibitor of the vitamin K dependent clotting factors. In post COVID, tingling sensation was there following the excess intake of vitamin. So, what was the cause for tingling? It is mainly due to the hypervitaminosis D. So, then we have a potency comparison graph. So, here the right answer is drug A is more efficacious they are saying that drug a is more efficacious drug a is less efficacious compared to the drug b and drug c this is the false statement 
antidote for iron toxicity it is your desferoxamine and which of the following drug activate ppr alpha that is a fibrates fibrates mechanism mechanism of action then we have a best treatment for acromegaly the best option would have been here the landriotide depot and we have a, a cancer chemotherapy induced diarrhea non infective diarrhea the drug of choice will be the loperamide and chemotherapy with cisplatin where there is a chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting the best option is the granisetron dexamethasone and the apripitant and next we have a tosis muscle weakness which was uh, improved on neostigmine the diagnosis is myasthenia gravis so regarding therapeutic index you need to remember it is ld50 by ed50 it is a measure of safety so which of the following drug will have a blood pressure and heart rate which was given in the graph so it is related to the norepinephrine norepinephrine so anesthetic uh, inhalation agent of choice in pediatrics is sevoflurane and which of the following statement is not correct regarding lithium lithium that is hemodialysis can be used in case of lithium so the wrong statement here is that lithium is not useful in the lithium overdose a patient suffering from depression and which of the following less likely to cause sexual side effect so less likely to cause sexual side effect is the bupropion compared to other venlafaxine or the estelopram or the imipramine will cause more of sexual related side effect so lithium mechanism if you were to see this uh, anything on the option you could have chosen this and uh, this could have been the right answer it reduces the glutamate activity it increases the gaba activity it is gq coupled mediated action it decreases the dopamine which is mainly used in the treatment of bipolar disorders so which of the most uh, drug suitable for iv local anesthetic that is the lignocaine and bladder carcinoma involving muscle the treatment will be the intravesical bcg or if you have given my mitomycin you can choose mitomycin or gemcitabin or the cisplatin next you have a mac that is the mac which is a minimum in inhib minimum concentration which has to be present in the alveoli to produce unresponsiveness to the skin incision in 50% of the patient so basically it is a measure of potency uh, and it is inversely proportional the greater the mac the potency will decrease so this was about the discussion on the maximum number of pharmacology recall from the fmge jan 2023 if you have any doubts or with respect to the any question or any options were altered so please do comment in the comment box we'll try to we'll try to come out with the correct mcq in the next video thank you